everyone, and welcome to Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. We've had a fun week, and now it's time to finish strong. I'm Devin Howard, aka the Swag Queen, and I'm here because I love spending time with all of you, and I love giving out money. Pal, flash that cash. We have a $1,000 prize, and all you have to do to win your share is correctly answer 10 multiple choice trivia questions about a variety of different topics. That's it. It's that simple. If you get one wrong, we'll even let you rejoin once per game and give you another shot at winning. How does that sound? In fact, even if you do get eliminated, you'll still be in the bonus, because after Q1, you'll get one bonus SB for any question you get right, no matter what. Claim those SB at the end of the game, and they're added to your account. If you win, you'll get them automatically. Here's another reason to stick around. We've got a Swagbucks Live exclusive swag code later in the game worth 5 SB. Don't leave early and miss out on that. Have you been playing all throughout this second chance week? If so, you know that you're getting a free rejoin for playing today's game in addition to getting one for any other games you played this week. Those will be added to your account before next week's games begin. The more games you play, the more free rejoins you'll get. All right, well, we have 13,800 of you who are in here. So many people. Thank you all for tuning in today. I hope you're at home enjoying an ice cream sundae for ice cream. All right, 14,000 of you in here, and I know you're ready to begin, so let's do that by clearing the comments and getting to your warm-up question. Here is question number one. A banana split is typically made with bananas and what? Spaghetti, ice cream, or cereal? All right, foodies, I know we've got a few of you in here. I love the little boat-shaped dishes these come in, but if you think this counts as a healthy dessert because banana is involved, you're forgetting about all the ice cream. All right, 13,557 of you must be feeling really sweet right now. You answered that one correctly, and you're going on into question number two. Yeah, so a banana split, as we know it, may not be the healthiest dessert, but you can make it healthy if you want by subbing in coconut yogurt instead of ice cream. But now that I think about it, who would really want to do that? Just have the ice cream. All right, question number two is coming up right now, and it's worth one bonus SB. Here it is. How many innings are in a standard baseball game? Seven, eight, or nine? Okay, question two. Let's see those results. Little League games can be shorter, but in general, the number of innings in a baseball game, barring rainouts or extra innings, is nine. That's what I was looking for. 11,805 of you hit a home run on that question. You got it right, and you are going right on into question number three. How many of you have gone to a baseball game this summer? I kind of would like to go to one at Dodger Stadium. Seems like a fun summertime thing to do. I don't normally watch a lot of baseball, but seems like a, a fun thing to go out and do with your friends. Have a Dodger dog. They have vegan Dodger dogs, people, so that's really cool. I got to try one. All right, let's get into the third question in today's game. We've got one bonus SB. Let's get to it. Where would you find traffic lights where the walk signal is wearing headgear? Vietnam, Berlin, or New Zealand? Have you seen one of these before? These unique walk, don't walk men are left over from the time when half of the city was under communist rule. Once they unified, Berlin kept the quirky lights. Ooh, this one was a tough one. 7,249 of you got out on that one. And it was almost a total split between New Zealand and Vietnam on that one. Uh, yeah, this was a tough question. I've never even heard of these don't walk walk men, or walk don't walk men is I guess the, the way you should say it. Uh, so I wouldn't have known the answer to this one either. We have had close to 20, no, we've had over 2,800 of you who rejoined, and 1,400 of those were free rejoins. If you have a rejoin that you're waiting to use, now's a good time to use it because you know you're getting a free rejoin just for playing today's game. So cool. Let's get into the next question, everyone. I hope you're ready. It's worth one bonus SB. Here is question number four. Which of these TV shows primarily takes place in New York? Seinfeld, Frasier, or The Big Bang Theory? How well do you know your TV shows? 
New York is always one of the characters in any show set there, which is true of this show about nothing that takes place all over the Big Apple. Seinfeld is the answer. 6,635 of you answered that one correctly, so you must be big Seinfeld fans like me. If you've been watching Swagbucks Live for a while, you might remember one of our earliest games when I actually did the Elaine dance in front of a live audience. And now I'm going to do it again because embarrassing myself is a strength of mine here on Swagbucks Live. <laughs> All right. Whew, now that that's out of my system, let's move on, everyone. We have one bonus SB on question number five. Here it is. Which state capital is named after a fur trader? California, South Dakota, or South Carolina? All right, those answers rolling in halfway through. His family helped provide early settlers with the beaver hats and other warm clothing they couldn't live without, and that's why Pierre Trudeau Jr.'s name is used for South Dakota's capital. All right, 5,541 of you selected the right answer. How many of you are from South Dakota? I'm sure we have someone out there who actually lives in this state capital. Let me know in the chat, <laughs> let me know. I'm really proud of you all for answering that one correctly. That was a tough question. Uh, all right, well, let's get into Q6. We've got one bonus SB and it's all yours. Here it is. A spin class involves the use of what gym equipment? Chair, treadmill, or stationary bike? Gym rats, are you out there? You'll know the answer to this one. These are some of the hardest fitness classes you can take, working to keep your heart rate up while you're directly behind a sweaty butt while riding a stationary bike. 5,460 of you are spinning into Q7. I love a good spin class. <laughs> it's one of my favorite types of uh, workout classes. But I mean, I, I guess I don't love the whole sweaty butt thing, but the workout is good. You can't beat that. <laughs> Let's get into question number seven. It's worth one bonus SB. Here it is. Mark Twain's famous neighbor wrote what novel? The Raven, The Age of Innocence, or Uncle Tom's Cabin? Okay, I see those answers coming in. Noted Authors Boulevard is what their street's name should be changed to. Mark Twain was borrowing sugar from Harriet Beecher Stowe, the author of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Okay, so this one was a bit of a tough one. We have a lot of you who answered it correctly. 3,378 of you are moving on into Q8, but we lost over 2,100 of you on that one. Uh, but that's okay, a lot of you are rejoining, and if you are not rejoining, stick around for the bonus SB and that swag code that's coming up later in the game. All right, question number eight. We've got one bonus SB for you, here it is. What did World War II U.S. Navy crews use to make a cocktail called torpedo juice, torpedo fuel, orange juice, or Prosecco? Alcoholic drinks were forbidden on submarines, so the crew had to improvise using loaves of bread to filter the methanol out of torpedo fuel before drinking it, which did not go well, understandably so. Okay, a lot of you out on this one. 2,418 of you selected the incorrect answer. Most of you went with orange juice, which would be the sane, normal choice, but no. It was torpedo fuel filtered through a loaf of bread. <laughs> Ooh, not a good idea. Uh, all right, lots of you rejoining on that one. And if you're not, we have one bonus SB left for you, or we have one more bonus SB for you on question number nine. Here it is, everyone. What company once made a board game that foreshadowed a future accident? BP, Exxon, or Cinepec? All right, second to last question. In 1973, long before the disastrous Deepwater Horizon incident in the Gulf of Mexico, a board game that centered around an oil rig that could explode was released by BP. All right, 1,181 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question.
if you had fun playing this game, tell your friends about it. Post to social media with the hashtag SVLive and include your share link. If people sign up with it, you'll get a free rejoin like the one you're getting for playing this game. Are you looking for a side hustle? After the game, sign up as a driver for DoorDash through Swagbucks and you'll get 15,000 SV when you make your first delivery. That is $150 in PayPal cash or free gift cards on top of what you earn from DoorDash just for bringing your neighbor a fresh cooked meal from a local restaurant. You have to be a US player to qualify and you have to be a new DoorDash driver. Also, US players will find a 5SB swag code on the offer page, so be sure to click the image after the game to get your code and then enter it on the homepage, the swag button, or the mobile app. It'll be there until 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Everyone, take advantage of that DoorDash deal, $150 on top of what you're already earning from DoorDash. That is so cool. I think I'm going to even check that out. All right, we have one more question to go, and it's worth one bonus SV. Let's get to the final question. Which wing of the U.S. military used the slogan, the few, the proud? Coast Guard, Marines, or Army Reserves? There was a time when ads featured these service people slaying dragons before morphing into their dress uniforms to represent the few, the proud, the Marines. 1,268 of you answered that one correctly, so you are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to all of you who are splitting the grand prize today. 1,268 of you walking away with some extra cash. We have Swaggy, Shannon Marie 31, Jason 1508, and Solo Asume and Swag 12 Man. You're getting your prize in the form of points called SV, which you can redeem for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You did it, you made it, and you crushed it. Great job, everyone. Deshola will be here for two games on Monday. I'm your swag queen, Devin Howard, and you've been playing Swagbucks Live. I'll see you soon.